your workstation so clean, Jerome? It's next to godliness. Isn't that what they say? Godliness. I reviewed your flight plan. Not one error in a million keystrokes. Phenomenal. It's right that someone like you is taking us to Titan. Has the committee approved the mission? There's been talk of delay. You shouldn't listen to the talk. You leave in a week. You've got a substance test. Jerome, never shy, pisses on command. Got a beautiful piece of equipment there, Jerome. Have I ever told you that? Only every time I'm in here. Occupational hazard. I see a great many in the course of any given day. Yours just happens to be an exceptional example. I don't know why my folks didn't order one like that for me. By the way, have I ever told you about my son? No, you haven't. Remind me to sometime. So, you're about to go up. One week left. Please tell me you're the least bit excited. I'll tell you at the end of the week. Congratulations, Jerome. Thank you. How many launches are there in a day? A dozen? Sometimes more. You're the only one who watches every one of them. If you're going to pretend like you don't care, don't look up. The most unremarkable of events. Jerome Morrow, navigator first class, is about to embark on a one-year manned mission to Titan, 14th moon of Saturn. A highly prestigious assignment, although for Jerome, selection was virtually guaranteed at birth. He's blessed with all the gifts required for such an undertaking, a genetic quotient second to none. No, there is truly nothing remarkable about the progress of Jerome Morrow. Except that I am not Jerome Morrow. <laughs>